What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of JY Throws. This is episode two of me trying to learn to throw a hammer again. And I do want to say that I'm not quitting throwing discus. I will continue to do that. But right now it's my off season. So for the next couple of weeks, instead of doing nothing, I figured I'd get out here, take some hammer throws, produce some extra content for you guys, and try to test out some concepts that I've had in my mind for the last couple of years on how I can improve my own hammer throw. Right now, my personal best with the hammer is about 70 and a half meters, and I've done that in competition, but I've never actually thrown over 70 meters in practice. So for the next few weeks, or as long as I'm throwing hammer, my goal is to just try to get to 70 meters in practice. And one of my biggest problems when I was in college was that I didn't have a good finish on my hammer throw ever. So I'm hoping that by working on some of the finishing aspects of the hammer throw, I can improve that finish and then bump me up over 70 meters in practice. But there's one way to find out and I just need to get reps and test things out. All right, so starting off today, there's a couple things that I want to quickly mention. The first is that I'm throwing the 5K hammer from the ring while I'm here. Later on, I'll be doing some more drills and I'll move to the 7K hammer so I can start to get used to the weight. But right now, I just want to keep things nice and light and easy. Also, I don't have a hammer glove. I've got one coming in the mail, so it should be here sometime this week. But for right now, it's just, again, easy throws, just trying to work on positions, I'm not trying to overdo it anyway, so I shouldn't need the glove right now. But I definitely am going to want it later if I'm going to start getting into a couple turns and trying to actually go fast. But to start today's video off, I want to start by talking about the wind. The wind is one of the most important parts of the throw because it sets everything up. And if you're not setting your throw up properly, then you're going to have a hard time staying balanced through the rest of your turns. So I'm just going to start doing some winds and I guess I'll just start talking about some of the things that I'm thinking about as they're going on. The first important one from the last video is that as I'm winding back, I want to be looking to the left and keep my head over here. A lot of times I really want to keep my head centered and I'll just be like winding the hammer right around me while I'm nice and rigid here. Instead of just being loose, looking over to the left, keeping everything nice and on my left side. So one of the other big feelings that I'm trying to get right now is that as I'm winding, stepping in, I'm trying to get a low point 90 degrees before I want the low point to happen. So I'm starting to think about getting a low point here so that the low point will come around and be off of my back hip because eventually I want to use that hip to try to drive the hammer up into the finish. I'm going to be moving on to some winds and releases and again it's super important that I'm getting the low point in the right spot here so that I can actually finish up in the right spot. If I get my low point down too late the low point is going to be shifted and then the high point is going to be outside of the sector. So I just need to make sure I'm getting the low point down nice and early so I can finish up nice and tall and get the hammer down the middle ish. So I'm gonna move on to doing some turns and doing turns on a long stretch of ground is one of the most helpful things that you can do because it's pretty easy to get away with doing two to five turns and being decently balanced and not looking too bad. 
but by the time you get to like six, seven, eight, nine, ten different turns, you start to really feel how off balance you are and some of the issues that you have. So just finding a good stretch of track or a good stretch of concrete that you can do turns down and having a line that goes down the middle of your feet is also really helpful because you can kind of see if you're uh, drifting off track easily or not. Moving on to some one turns, no idea how this is going to go, but I think if I get a nice good wind, get a good low point, and I'm just nice and patient for one turn, hopefully I can uh, be balanced and get a good finish. Nice easy one turn, set it up off the back hip, drive it up, nice finish. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap today's video up here. Thank you very much for watching. I'm super pleased with how things are feeling right now. Already my one turns and releases are feeling like some of my best throws ever. So hopefully that puts me on the right track to be throwing 70 meters as quickly as possible. Other than that, it's just gonna take a lot of reps and practice to start to lock it in my muscle memory and get comfortable with the rotation so that I can start to speed it up and throw as far as possible. And hopefully sometime this week I have my hammer glove so I don't have to be just doing the one turns nice and easy. I can actually start to get after some two and three turns. But there's no big rush right now. I really need to start to find that finish and lock that in my muscle memory. But thanks again for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one.